everyone, and welcome back to r slash am I the booty hole, a subreddit where people post a scenario and commenters decide who's at fault. Today's post, am I the booty hole for failing a student on the last day of class? As a side gig, I teach once a week for a local university. The students come to the hospital where I work, and I teach them by doing direct patient care. They also have written assignments to complete, some for me in the clinical setting, and some in the classroom. Most of the students I have are seniors, so college work is not new to them. This semester, I have a student who just has a lack of motivation and puts in little effort. Her assignments are usually submitted late, but there is nothing in the syllabus that states they can't be turned in late for full credit. The students are also allowed to redo one failed assignment for full credit. She failed her first assignment, and I have reminded her throughout the term that she has to redo it because it's a required assignment to pass the course. She shows up exactly on time two to three minutes late for class. Their syllabus states that they must be on time for the clinical portion of class, part that I teach or they will be sent home and their absence unexcused. I have not kicked her out when she's been two to three minutes late because it just seems petty. She also missed a couple of classes that had to be made up with other clinical experiences to get her required hours. I've discussed this with her course professor and also with her in her midterm evaluation. She missed her second to last clinical and I reminded her that she would have to complete that final assignment at her last clinical to pass. She assured me she would. I had a conversation with her classroom professor who has also been frustrated with the student in this term. She had just finally turned in an assignment that was three weeks late. I was annoyed by that because she ended up getting the same grade as students who completed it on time. Next semester, the syllabus will specify points lost for late assignments. This hasn't historically been an issue. Her course professor had a conversation with her in class last week about her final clinical and that assignment absolutely having to pass or she fails the course. On the last day of clinical, all the students were there, dressed in scrubs, ready for patient rounds on time. Except this student who walked in three minutes late and not dressed. I said, you are late and you are not ready. This is unprofessional. You need to leave immediately. So my making her leave means she fails the course because there is no other chance to make it up in its final exam week. It also means it delays her graduation by at least one semester because she will have to retake that course and can't take a course next term that needs this one as a prereq. At the time, I felt very justified in sending her home. She's been given several warnings and multiple breaks with late work. But now, I'm feeling kind of like I might have been an a-hole and kicking her out, knowing it guaranteed her course failure when I let her stay when she was late in the past. What do you think, Reddit? edit. I've had a few comments where I've addressed this and it should probably be added to the original post. I did discuss her tardiness with her several times. At the beginning of the term, she was two to three minutes late every day. At first I said, be careful of your time. Then a more stern, we start on time. You need to be dressed and ready to go by the start of clinical. But I was trying not to be a total hard ass over two minutes. At midterm, I had to do a written evaluation of each student. I put on there that she was often tardy and needed to be on time. Those go in her file. I also filed an academic improvement plan, which discussed her tardiness to clinical and those failed assignments. The AIP outlines future expectations, which included being on time and turning in assignments. The AIP stays in her file and goes to her academic advisor. At that time, I told her she had to be on time and ready for clinical. 
and the next time she would be sent home. Edit 2. Holy cow! I shut my phone off for a couple hours to go see a movie, and this is exploding! I'm trying really hard to catch up on reading everyone's comments and to answer questions. Bear with me if you posted a question. I'm trying to weave my way through this thread. I've seen a few comments and gotten a bunch of DMs calling me a misogynistic pig. I'm a female. This student being a female had zero to do with my decision. Last term, I had a male student who behaved similarly and nearly failed, but finally got his shit together and showed up on time. I don't care what their gender is, just do your freaking work. And for the people saying I'm the a-hole because why does two to three minutes make a difference? You clearly have no idea what rounds are like in a hospital. At the time it begins, you have doctors, nurses, residents, students, possibly case managers, social workers, etc., etc., who assemble in a group to present each patient's case. Every one of them is ready to go. At our hospital, an overhead announcement is made 10 minutes before a round start so that everyone gets their shit together and is ready. I have told my students it's best to arrive about 10 to 15 minutes early so they can be changed in hospital scrubs and in the group ready to go. Nobody is waiting 2-3 to three minutes for a student to catch up. And you can be damn sure nobody is waiting 10 minutes for a student who came in late and wasn't dressed. Final edit. Wow, I really didn't expect this to garner so many comments. I tried really hard to read all of them and answer the ones asking for more information. I thought it would be easiest to update the most frequently asked questions here. Yes, I did attempt to find out what was going on in her personal life. I'm not an ogre. I wanted to help her and would have been willing to help her in any way I could if she'd given me anything I could work with. Her tardiness was typically the result of staying out too late and sleeping as late as possible. The incomplete and late assignments were the result of failing another course and focusing more on bringing her grade up there. So I tried to be flexible on both to keep her sane, which evidently was not what I should have done. She did not fail because she was late for class. She had a required assignment three months ago that she failed. She put the redo off for three months. The day before her final clinical practicum, she was advised that it was her last chance to complete it and that she had to be on time and prepared because she was on a final written warning for tardiness. Her failing grade comes from not completing a required assignment. I do not know if she has ADHD. I will keep that in mind in the future if I see this again. I have requested that the course professor edit the syllabus next term to include a clause for late assignments. It's not my syllabus to write. I don't teach in the classroom. Due to a lot of comments I've read, I now realize that I need to be more of a hard-ass in enforcing attendance rules and wasn't doing anyone any favors trying to be lenient. So, in the future I will allow the one tardy with a warning. Second time, I will send them home. Thank you everyone for your feedback. I really was conflicted over it. I felt like since I have her final written warning saying her next tardy results in being sent home, she needed to be sent home. I just struggled a bit because of it being her last chance to complete her assignment. But you've all made me realize that it was her choice and she was aware of those consequences. I appreciate all of your comments, no matter how you voted. It helped me to look deeper at what I was doing and what I will do in the future. Not the booty hole, infinity. The other students standing there ready to go really appreciated this. You did the right thing. Stand by your decision. This makes a real difference in the world. The only part where OP was the asshole is in not establishing expectations early and holding her to account. It's 100% her own fault, but letting her slide all semester and suddenly enforcing the rule on the last day feels like a trap. I'm sure it was a bit of a justice boner for the other students, but as the adult in the room, OP should have either corrected her behavior or failed her well before this point, rather than letting her step on a landmine 
the last day. Also, as someone who works in healthcare, her attitude towards being late and not turning in things on time is quite frankly alarming. Healthcare workers deal with life or death situations. What happens when she gets a verbal order to start a life-saving medication for a patient and procrastinates it? She should not be in healthcare at all, honestly, and I'm glad OP failed her. Especially in a medical profession. Holy F! We're not talking about some general office job, we're talking about a job where seconds can mean the difference between life and death. Not the booty hole. She was given multiple opportunities to make up work and spoken to many times. Patient care is not a place someone should be pity past. If she had an issue in her life, she should have spoken to you or other instructors. Not the booty hole. Is she on course to be any kind of doctor, surgeon, or hospital work? She needs to learn at some point that she can't just make up her own schedule, preferably before people's lives are at stake. Everyone sucks here. She sucks, and she should try harder, but you also enable this behavior by letting her be late in the past. She could easily take this above your head, and then you'd have to explain why you never asked her to leave before when she had been late except on the last day. It's petty. You are the booty hole, but for me it's because you did it on the last day on purpose. You said you didn't include points lost for late assignments in your syllabus, so you can't enforce that rule. And while she was late, she's been routinely late, and you didn't send her home then. And you should have. By doing it now, you were punishing her, not educating her. I promise she didn't go home and think, wow, I shouldn't have been late so often to the class or I should have tried harder. She went home thinking, you're an arbitrary ass. If you'd sent her home once or twice before, this might have been justified. But it was just petty to do it now. Not to the booty hole. You have a job to do and she has hers. She did not meet the requirements. Also, given that it is a medical program, a person with that mindset should not be involved with patient care. Pushing her through could have had some consequences for a future patient. Hopefully, she understands why this happened and either learns from it or picks a new profession to pursue. And that's going to wrap up today's post. What do you guys think about this one? Do you think OP is the booty hole? What I think I like most about this post is how OP went through all of the comments and then edited her original post to say, I hear you, and now I understand what I could have done and what I will do in the future. It takes a lot for a person to admit that and come forward and say how they're going to change, and I commend OP on that one. We would love to hear your reactions and other thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, leave a like or a comment. It always helps us out a lot. And if you'd like to hear more and see more posts from r slash am I the booty hole and other subreddits when they come out on the channel, please subscribe. As always, thank you so much for watching and for listening.